What a difference a year and a few months makes in our estimation of what exactly happened in the origins of the COVID-19 pandemic. We don't yet know. We don't have final answers here, but we're getting closer. And one thing we certainly see is that people, and at the front of that pack at the top of the list would have to be Dr. Anthony Fauci, who pretended to know just how the COVID disaster happened, how it got started. They didn't know. And in fact, they were steering global public opinion in a certain direction, steering it away from the lab leak theory and toward the zoonotic or natural animal transmission of the virus, essentially just a thing that happened in mother nature with no political party involved in a cover-up, with no human beings involved in reckless research like gain of function. Turned out that's not the case, at least from what we can see right now. A big piece in Vanity Fair, which we want to bring to your attention, uh, pulls together some of this. The lab leak theory inside the fight to uncover COVID-19's origins. And let's just start with this. Is it possible that there was a clear effort behind the scenes by top virologists and people in the international health bureaucracy, including Dr. Anthony Fauci himself, to steer public opinion away from the lab leak theory, especially considering that there now, it's clear, were some U.S. taxpayer dollars that went to the Wuhan Institute of Virology, and that yes, in fact, it may be the case that the Wuhan Institute of Virology was engaged in gain-of-function research, tinkering with viruses to make them more transmissible, perhaps even more lethal. Was there steering going on? Was there a cover-up, which you might consider to be just above the steering of opinion into some other territory here? Uh, here's what Vanity Fair writes about the State Department investigators who were probing the lab leak scenario. Um, among other possibilities, its members were repeatedly advised not to open a Pandora's box, said four former State Department officials interviewed by Vanity Fair. The admonitions smelled like a cover-up, said State Department official Thomas DiNano, and I wasn't going to be a part of it. You'll recall that the Biden administration disbanded the effort under the Trump administration State Department to look into the origins of COVID-19, saying that it seemed like shoddy work to them or some other such nonsense. Yeah, maybe we should take another look at that. Turns out the possibility of a cover-up here is very real. In fact, the evidence is pointing in the direction of such a cover-up. Vanity Fair keeps going in this piece to talk about, uh, well, to talk about unveiling even more issues that you could say look like a cover-up. In one State Department meeting, officials seeking to demand transparency from the Chinese government say they were explicitly told by colleagues not to explore the Wuhan Institute of Virology's gain of function research because it would bring unwelcome attention to U.S. government funding of it. In an internal memo obtained by Vanity Fair, State Department official Thomas DiNano wrote that staff from two bureaus warned leaders within his bureau not to pursue invest an investigation into the origin of COVID-19 because it would open a can of worms if it continued. Pandora's box opening a can of worms, unwelcome attention. These are all bureaucraties for, let's make sure people don't find out what really happened here. That's what those phrases indicate. That's what they are used for within a large government bureaucracy, something that I know far too well from my time in a large federal bureaucracy. I know how the CYA, they cover your behind, I guess that would be CYB, game is played. So does Dr. Anthony Fauci, which is why he's, he's spinning as fast as he can. Here he is on some of the theories out there. There was an email on April 16th, an email exchange between you and NIH Director Francis Collins. The email sent to you said, conspiracy theory gains momentum. And this, again, was the idea of the lab leak. The idea, I think, is quite far-fetched that the Chinese deliberately engineered something so that they could kill themselves as well as other people? Uh, I, I think that's a bit far out, John. Is that really what we're talking about here? Is the, is the bulk of those who are claiming the lab leak theory is more likely 
Are they really suggesting that China intentionally released this to intentionally kill as many people as possible? No. The lab leak theory, at least in general, uh, general discussion, is that the Chinese were looking at this virus, which we know they were, and at the, at the Wuhan Institute of Virology, that there was some U.S. funding that went to this lab, that this lab was likely engaged in gain-of-function research, and that that virus, which did occur naturally, but which had been, had been brought together for study at this laboratory, may have been tinkered with during the gain-of-function research, and then accidentally got out of the lab into the general population, and we had a global pandemic. That's the theory, but Anthony Fauci is too busy sneering at Oh, the Chinese wanted to release this on themselves. That makes no sense. Hmm. Interesting. Fauci has been proven wrong so many times. He's got a lot to answer for, doesn't he?